Hi everyone, welcome to my video. I want to show you guys how I made my gold in World of Warcraft Wrath Lich King. Just to let you know, I've never done GDKP ever, and I've never bought gold ever. So all this was from the same technique. How I made my gold was all from the same way. And everyone can do it, it's very easy. All you need to be is level 80, and it is dailies. So the point of today's video is to help you do dailies really quick. I get one every day for about two hours a day max, and I'm just saving gold for when Old War comes out, and obviously, ICC. I hope you guys can follow my route and if you like this video please drop it a like. I'm going to start a timer right now and I'm going to give you guys all my best tips and advice on what dailies to skip and which ones to do. And if there's any quicker methods please write in the comments that would be great. I love making this route a bit quicker. Okay so let's start the timer. Okay so you want to leave Dalaran and as soon as you get there you want to make your way to Ice Crown right around here. Okay so that's my gear score and that's my eye level but you don't need to be that high to do these. Okay, the first place we're going to is this over here. Look for the blip. If you're Alliance, go to the Alliance one. If you're Horde, obviously go to the Horde one. As you can see, there's a lot of dailies on here, but we're not going to be taking all of them, only a few of them. So that's the Alliance one. Don't go there. And that's the one we want. Okay, so these are the questions you're going to be grabbing. Fly up to the boat. Go in here. Pick up the first two quests, yes. but not the bottom three. Let me explain why. This quest here needs requires two people, so you can't do it solo. This one here is absolutely, it takes way too long and it's not worth doing. And this also requires two people, so skip them free. Go over here, do not click make the page, the bottom one, click and press accept. The top one's PvP, you don't want to be doing that one. Fly around, look for two more NPCs. This one here, you want to grab? Our enemies will fall. Down here, there's a woman. She walks around. She could be even down here. Oh, here it is. What do you need? Take that. And then fly down here and take the two. You can also repair here and sell your junk here. All right. As soon as you grab them, you want to fly out. As soon as you fly out, there's two quests here that you don't want to do just yet. There's two quests here. And there's one quest here. So what you want to do straight away... And always go in this order. You don't be doing these two quests here until you picked up this quest, Blood of the Chosen. Otherwise, you're wasting time. So pick up both quests. Now, he's going to start walking with four of his colleagues. You want to come up here and just start killing these guys straight away. So we save a lot of time. Okay, so now these guys skip that, which is great. Saving time. Make your way up the hill. If you're not quick enough, another one will spawn. As you can see, we're doing two quests instead of just one. Always make sure you've got auto loot on, obviously. Okay, they take a little break here. As soon as they start moving, go ahead and kill this guy. Five more will spawn. Make your way over. Okay, it's nearly the end of the quest. Okay, so when you're over here, whatever you do, I made this mistake yesterday, do not go up to this guy over here. You get out of range, and then you'd only be able to get like two of these, you only save like two of these guys, even if you have like all five. So that's now done. That quest is now complete. We're not going to hand it in. We're going to go straight over here. And there's like six guys in here. You want to clear them out. I need to kill only five more, so just tag five more. Okay. And that is another quest complete. Okay, as soon as you're over here, what you want to be doing is flying straight over. And go straight into this cave. And you, you want to avoid these two soul things here. These two ladies. Because they take a while to kill. So when you come in, just run in a big circle. And just talk to these guys. You want to free ten of them. Some of them flee and then some of them fight you. Okay, we're getting pretty lucky. This might go for a bit sometimes. Okay, we're getting really lucky. Okay, wow. It's like I chose to attack me. Don't worry about these two bosses in here, except from the blue guy. You want to start from the blue guy, because he can attack you. It's up to you if you want to go back and loot all the people. Or if you want to save time, just go straight out. Okay, and that is another quest done. 
Also, side note that the um, the slaves don't drop any loot. So when you're out of here, don't attack these two. And just fly up. Now, here's my favourite quest. As soon as you've done that, fly up here. There's one quest here. It's, very, it's my favourite quest of them all because it's so easy and quick. It's a free 20 gold. Okay, grab this quest here. You can sell your junk if you want to. As soon as you do that, jump on this guy's back and spam free. Just go up. Uh, I've never used two ever. I don't know what two does, but I've never used it. Just go right to the top. Just like that. Okay, get to the top of the hill here. Plant, press one. You plant your flag. Jump off, and that is another quest done. You want to be handing this one in. For this video, I'm going to hold all my junk until the end. Press completed. 20 gold. Right. Now, you want to be making your way down here. This... Okay, as soon as you're down here, you want to be assembling three human beings or some shit to, um, for these frost things to kill. So you just want to be—you don't want to be doing it. You want to pick up all the pieces first because if you if you keep using it, the, th the bits will start shining again. So you want to pick up everything. There's nine pieces in total: three bones, three helmets, and three plates, while avoiding attacking anything. Okay, now look how the helmets will stop shining because we have three. So that's the reason why you don't want to be using the... Um, it gets a bit confusing if you start using the item. So I can already make a body, but I'm choosing not to. So the floor is still really shiny. Okay, sometimes you might fall. Just deal with it. Okay, we have all the pieces. So nothing shining. Free, free, free. Just use this. And you have to wait. This is an annoying bit because there's like a 15 second cooldown. And you've got to do that three times. If you're bored, just start dancing. If you're focusing, you can just pick up one set at a time and use it. Rather than just pick up all nine pieces. Right, and that's done. I always wait. Just in case the quest bugs, just to guarantee I get it, because if you fly out of range it might not proc. That's another quest done, let's make our way right over here. Okay, as soon as you get here, we just want to jump straight on this. Don't worry about hand that quest in, we'll be back here in a minute. So this quest is pretty interesting and fun. All you got to do is CFK and press one button. So you basically you're going to be dropping off four soldiers. Don't worry. It does it for you. you just got to use your um, suppression charge to blind the um, turrets. If you don't, you have to restart the quest. It's definitely one of the longer quests, but it's more chill. Okay, the first turret you want to blind is this one here. You don't want to shoot it all the time, just once. Blinds it for like three seconds. There's one over there. And don't worry too much if you get hit. Blind this one. This one. And blind this one. And these two. Don't worry about the third one, it won't shoot you. Same for these two. And this one over here. And this one here. And this one here. And that one over there. And this one here. And we're done. Now, instead of waiting, what you want to be doing is, is um, getting off early rather than wait for it to do a whole lap round. So just jump now. So as you see the four out of four. I've had it bug on me once. And I've done this about 50 times. And then you've got to pick up the quest again if it bugs. It's really annoying. Oh, while I'm here, I want to show you guys my slash blade. Before I forget. And I'll try and show it again at the end of the straight video. So, I spent 11 days, 15 hours at this level. And that's when I started doing dailies. So, you can accumulate that time with how much gold. 
Okay, so this is where you hand your, both your quests in. And honor. Now, we're going to make our way straight up here. Map might look confusing, but it really isn't. So, come straight up here. We're going to be getting three of these orange orbs. But you want to don't, don't want to attack these guys. We're going to go for these small ones here. I want the simpler ones. They should drop this red orb. He didn't. She didn't. It's a real high drop chance. Okay, there's one. There's another. Okay, so we want to get away from him. Don't pull him aggro and do basically right click your orb of illusion. And you've got to do that three times. But don't get too close, or if, you, if you're aggroed, then you can't use it. We just need one more. There you go. So all we got to do now is do it two more times. It's a pretty funny quest to be honest. I like when they scream. <laughs> so I managed to pull aggro there so I flew out. And we're done. So, so you've done that. Fly down here. Ignore the uh, retreat now. We'll be doing that in a minute. So you want to fly down here, get into about the middle, and you want to avoid standing on a skeleton guy. And then you want to look up, and as soon as you see one of these, you click it, and then click your item, the SMG in your invent. Okay. You've got a pretty short cooldown. You've got to do that six times. It gets pretty funny. You've got to go for the ones that are coming your way. Last one. And that is another daily done. So mount up. And then fly right over here. Okay. I'm going to be landing on this surface. It's like the middle ground, not the high ground. Middle. When you're here, there's a potion event called Diluted Cult Tonic. Give it a drink. So for 10 minutes, you have this buff where you can just basically loot them. And you want to be killing both of these. You're doing two quests in one here. So... Go around and uh, what I think. Then you kill ten of these guys. And you kill five of these enslaved minion pets. So get to it. I love playing warlock. Then I'll kill this boss, but I do it all the time anyway. Okay, let's get looting. Okay, so with these, you have to. So you see the the pet, enslaved pet. You got to use this on it. You got to do that five times. You should get an item in your invent. Okay, it's bugging out for some reason. There you go. Do that five times. We got our first green. Lovely. Okay, so we have ten of these. Perfect. Need one more, and there's plenty more over there in the distance. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so you have five dark matters and ten of these. You want to turn around and fly basically right there. And there's a cauldron that you want to throw your you want to right click the skulls, and you've done the quest. So then we want to fly again. And down here there's three cauldrons. You can go up to any of them. You will pull aggro. These things breathe fire. So just be careful. From that point on you want to right click this tainted essence. And then right click it again when you're next to the cauldron. And you're done. Another quest done. At that point you're pretty much done here. So what you want to do is go hand in all your quests. Also, you can right-click and get rid of this um, buff because it gets really annoying. You don't need it anymore. Okay, make your way back to your ship. And hand in your quests. I will listen and watch that money come in. We will persevere. The reckoning is...
Okay, when you've done all of that, let me go straight over here. And there's two quests here. Yeah, um, they're a bit long, but they're kind of fun. I'm gonna give you guys the best tips on how to do them quick. Okay, so when you're here, pick up the first quest she gives, and then take a bomber. Okay, you want to straight away go for these abdominal things. Don't go for the smaller ones because they'll eventually add up. Ignore that sound. It's just gargles hitting you. Okay, when you manage, so you can flick over, press four, and then go for the gargles. You got to kill twenty of these, and then go for these guys. And we're done with these guys now. And then flick back, and then kill the gargles. And just go easy when you're shooting the gargles. Don't just spam your missiles. Just take it easy, because then you run out of mana. It's really annoying. Okay. Once you're done, don't wait. Click the leave vehicle button. Okay, guys. The second part of this quest is a bit more trickier. Uh, if you don't do it correctly, it is a bit of a time waste. So I'm going to try and show you guys how to get it done straight away. So your priority is to kill all the gargles straight away. Because if you're not quick enough, um, you've got to go all the way back around. So, hand your quest in. Get the second quest. And on the second part of this quest, you don't need to go for the big boys. You just need to get 50 of the small ones. So, plus more. Straight away, you've got a bit of time. The guy will start spawning. So go straight in. Use your bomb. Try and get as many small ones as you can. Remember, you don't need to kill the abdominals anymore. So when you see a gargoyle, go for him. Try and kill as many as quick as you can in this one. Focus the gargoyles over the, the small zombies. I press 2 if you do get up mana, but don't use it once every now and then. And try and be as accurate as you can. It's not as easy. I've got to hurry up and speed up before it's too late. Okay, we're done. Okay, as soon as you've done that, go straight back to the zombies. We've got some time to chill now. You might see that the, the bomb flickers. It's because it's reloading, like right there. It's reloading, so don't panic. It can knock your off site sometimes it gets really frustrating you can't speed up this process just take your time okay so I'm pretty much done right now stuff I can do right now but now we've got to kill these guys and this is why you want to happen to the gargoyles because sometimes you won't kill enough gargoyles you want to these guys and then you waste a lot of time so we've kept up mind you there are quite a few today normally gargoyles don't spawn at the same time as these guys spawn so these require two shots each you don't need to spam, just go two shots each if they're in range. As you can see, the gargles now are, are no longer be in range. So this bit's bugged, but it's, it's a benefit for the players. So it wants us to kill 12 like um, of the uh, war machines at the bottom, but every time you kill one, it marks it as two for some reason. Um, so yeah, just do that. It's very easy. So just go, if you notice, when you go for one, you'll get two. It's a bit weird. But okay. And even though this quest is a bit long, it's worth it for the gold. Okay then. And we're pretty much done. Okay then. And we're done. So just click the leave vehicle button. Normally I don't do quests that are really long, but because this one gives quite a lot of gold, it's worth it. Oh, and make sure you go to your right platform because there's a horde one and a lights one. If you land on a lights one as a horde, you pretty much die. Okay, so hand it in. I think you get about 30 gold for this one. 31 gold. Normally you get about 20 gold, so it's definitely worth it. Make your way over here. This quest here is not a daily. You hand in these bones and you can get like a speed buff or a damage buff. It's not really worth it. I just sell the bones. Okay, so when you come to here, there's this big fat of domination that sometimes wanders off and it bugs out. So... If that happens, just try and help him kill all the uh, NPCs that come on to attack him. But hopefully that won't be happening today. It's very rare, like one in one in every ten days that happens. And is he being good to me? 
Yes, he is. Sometimes he'd wander down there. But we just want to grab this quest. And this one over here. What? And then this one over here. This is where I really enjoy these quests. It gets really fast now. So the first one to do is kill 15 of these um, guys that wander around. But I made a mistake for the first month of doing this. I'd wander around and kill them. No, you don't need to do that. Just come over here and there's a huge bit. Also, this is a really good money making guide. Like if you guys want to hunt fell with cloth. Uh, so no one's here today, which is fantastic. As you can see, there's so much, so many guys to kill. All you want to be doing is killing 15 of these. But when you're killing them, um, you don't want to stack them up because you can't pl place your uh, the, the banner. So what you want to be doing is pretty much it's pretty much always run while you're attacking. If you're a, a mage or, or if you're a warlock, I'm not quite sure if you're melee. And these guys can hit hard, so make sure you're you're focusing. I think they have Sunder armor. Kill 15 of them. So if you do need to go with cloth, got the money, just come here. Okay, I think that's about enough. So you want to go around and loot, and as soon as you loot one, what you want to do is pl uh, place your flag. Do that 15 times. Pick up another green. Okay, from that point onwards, you want to fly. That's another quest done. You want to fly right over just here. And you are kill all these time loss proto dregs. Got to kill 15 of them. Jump on any of them and pretty much spam free. You've got to hit them a few times each and do that 15 times. Pretty fun quest. Sometimes you see people doing them with, with you and just you, you can just um, invite them to your group and speed up the process. One is to reload if you do manage to get out of ammo. And sometimes if you kill them all, you can speed up time and jump out and go to another one. And then come over here where they're all fresh if you want to speed up a bit. They respawn pretty quick. They're like Call of Duty, you want to lead the way of the shot. Oh dear, I lagged a little bit. Don't worry if you don't kill them the first time, it'll fly back round because they keep the same damage. Okay, that's another quest done. Here's another really easy quest. Don't get confused by all the, the um, swords on the map. Pretty much what it wants you to do is you're going to be flying a, a proto drake. And you're going to be um, using your fireball on any of the buildings. You've got to do that eight times. Um, I'll show you my path. I always jump on this guy over here. Okay, and I always fireball this one. Now you've got one time to use his ability here. Burst of speed. Use it once. Just fly. Kill that one. Blaze up that one. And this one. And then these four. You've got to be kind of close, which is kind of annoying. And then once you're done, you jump off, and that's another daily done. You can also click the feather if you don't want to fly. Okay, so that's done. We're we'll gonna make our way back and hand these in. I always do these dailies uh, with my cup of tea when I wake up, as they're, I find them really chill. They're like clockwork. The hand in these quests, and then what you'll be doing, you can even take the, um, the uh, flight master over here, or you can just fly right over whatever you want. Okay, so 10 more dailies we can only do. Sadly, you can only do 25 dailies a day. Okay, I really enjoy these free quests, but you guys might find them annoying. I've seen so many complaints in the general chat on the, this quest. A lot of people don't do it because it's taking too long, but they're doing it wrong. So what we're doing is grabbing these three quests here. Speak your piece. Yeah. Now, fly straight over down here. And land on um, this part. I'm going to do two quests in one, so take notes. So I always land here. Now when you land here, you don't want to die 
So always press bone R, which is number three. And then grab these by pressing one. It's a bit of a delay when you press one, so you want to pull ten of these guys. Sometimes you get really lucky and have like eight guys far next to you. Just try and get them all together. This don't bother using the button two because it pushes them away, so just gonna be using one. You could use burst or speed. And you want to kill them all in the same spot. The reason why we do this, I'll explain in a minute. Just kill ten of these guys. Put them in the same spot. Because it's like an AoE. Keep an eye on your health as well, don't get knocked off. Always use your three if it's up. Okay, and that's ten of them. Perfect. Now, when you start looting these guys, they drop keys. You can only carry up to five keys. If you have five keys, they won't drop a key. So, right, we're going to fly down. Keep alert, there's a lot of these guys around. Just focus. Attack them all. Ignore the uh, parachute bugs out all the time. Now, you can start looting now. They're all dotted up. So I'll just pick up a key. Another key. Another key. Again, you can only cap with five keys. I've already got four. Because we need to open five chests. Which I'll get to in a minute. Okay, perfect. As you can see can pick up another key because I'm already capped. Now when you once you're here you've got this real easy button to click. It's a red vial, it's got no cooldown, and just click that on them. And you summon these zombies. And just like that, we're done. And this is why we stack them all up. But if the zombies do attack someone, you can't use it. Right now onto the hardest bit of this. You look at these chests. Okay, a chest will spawn here. Uh, a chest will spawn here, and a chest will spawn here, but clearly someone's been here. They spawn pretty often. There's a chest that spawns here. It's no longer here. There's a chest that spawns here. Now, I won't go for that chest because it's not shiny. A lot of people make that mistake. They go for the chest that aren't, sh chest that aren't shiny. Also, that one's not shining. But if you use your eyes, eventually you'll see one. there's another one there, which is shiny. That's the one we want. And you will pull quite a lot of people. And you can't use the chest. You get corrupted. Sometimes I just spam it. I get lucky. One more chest to go. There's another one up there. Now, I will say this now. If you're doing this quest and there's no shiny chests, what you need to do, it basically bugs out. You need to open up just the plain chests. And if you open up the plain chests, even though you lose a key, uh, what happens is the chest resets and it might be shiny. It just bugs out sometimes. It's only happened to me a few times. So that chest is not shining. That chest is. But what it is now, because I've got spare keys, I've got two more spare keys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up any um, chest because I've got spare keys that help reset. Uh, this guy bugs under here sometimes near base. So you just want to get close to him, like just like that. Yep, I've done these quest too many times. I'm going to pick up spare keys. I'm not using my pet in this place because he pulls everything. Okay, so we can fly around again, look for the chest. They they do respawn pretty quick. So have a quick little browse. No shinies. Just need two more. See this one spawned, but it's not shiny. Ah, and this one spawned. Okay. If you're struggling and you can't find a shiny chest or no chest, what you do, you fly down here. And there's a plate there's there's the they're planted all over the place, but I'll tell you where one of my favorite places are for the chest. It's down here on the seafront. And there's loads here. There's one here that's shining. They're, they're spawning there. In there, there's one that spawns here. There's one that spawns down here. There's one that spawns over here. So I like the seafront. And there's one that spawns here and one here as well. So there we go. We are pretty much done. And we're finished. This is a really nice place to farm cloth if you guys want. Okay, now go hand in your free quests. Definitely the most annoying part is the uh, the chest bit, no doubt. Okay, so once you've handled all your quests in, I'm taking it that all you guys have your health set to Dalaran. You want to be going to Dalaran, okay? To save time. You can do other days to get your reputations up, but I don't need to do that anymore. I be listening. <clears throat> so hand in your quests. I'm going to hold on to all my junk. Make it quick. And you want to make your way back to Dalaran. So more to go. Okay, once you're here, I want to go to the landing strip. 
Okay, once you land this ship, you want to be going to this place here. Uh, this one right here, the K3. So it's this place right here. You can fly there if you want. Even though this next quest can be a bit annoying, it's pretty fun. Okay, I want to show you guys this that I've got enchanting and tailoring. Also help, that's how I also make some a bit of money on the side from the cloth. I disenchant the um, items I make. Okay, so take this one quest. We do this quest because we're going to way to the next place. So as soon as you pick up the quest, you want to come over here and you get given like a bomb. I'm not that good at this. I've been recently doing this because it's on my path. And you want to do is just place these bombs down. You can only place um, about nine at a time. So um, there's no point doing more than nine or they just disappear. So you want to be doing is just basically placing these like this. And so the... Um, the rats run over it and sometimes you get a well, big little fucker like that then they run over it and you can see they die that's the idea and they it might take a bit of time sometimes they take the time to spawn but sometimes you have like four or five of them running in at once it's kind of satisfying to see them kill themselves to be honest here we go you can't really predict where they're gonna go and that's the idea can take some time depending on how lucky you are. I'm pretty sure the faster technique, if I figured it out, maybe I, could, I should go closer. Don't worry, the bombs can't kill you, boys. I see there's plenty coming in now. Wow, look at that. Hey. Obviously, it'd be a lot quicker if you had a partner or someone doing it with you. Come on. And we're done. So after you do that, hand in your quest and make way to your last place. I'm not gonna bother checking my mail because I wanna <coughs> just show you guys how much gold to make from just today. Now you can either take the flight path if you want up here. I, I prefer not to because we're gonna be going straight over here. Just fly over, and with a bit of luck, you guys might find the Timos Proto Drake. So, why don't you over here? Come to this lady. Now, this is really annoying because she gives she can give you one of like four quests. Preferably, it's not the ball one. The ball one is really annoying. Oh, fantastic! It's the best one. It's defending your tile. Very easy. You go up to these and you kill six of these. They don't drop anything. So it's basically, it's the ones that are standing upright. Talk to them. Ask them for a fight. Fight multiple at a time. But it will kill six of them. The thing about these quests, the reason why I do these quests is because you can actually get a, a, a white polar bear, which I've never got before. So today, I hope to have a bit of luck with we'll, we'll get one. And if you killed all four of them and there's there's not enough, you want to go over here and there's a few more over here. Again, there are three more quests that she does do. There's one where you go into that ball pit over there and it's really slow and annoying. So, yeah. It's not hard to not kill these boars while you're on your boar. Just take some time. And there's another quest where you've got to go inside this cave and discipline the um, guys that are being lazy. You've got to use like a, a pole on them that are not working. And there's another quest where you've got to fly over there onto the far left in Valkyrion and basically kill 30 eggs. So, get that, finish the quest, and open up your thing and pray that you get them out. And we've got some snowballs, which are junk, so just get rid of them. So, five more to go. want to make our way over here. Try and get all these days done before the one hour mark. It's a great thing to wake up to, or when you're getting from work, to jump on World of Warcraft, do your dailies, make some gold, feel good about yourself. So, when you come in here, what you want to be doing, go straight down, pick up this quest from this do doggy. And then fly up here, take this one here from his helmet. There are other dailies here you can do if you want. There's one here that I don't really like doing. It's where you got to get on a dragon, which I bloody hate. Uh, there's two down here. Which I absolutely love these two. These are my favourite ones. Got this. And pick up this. And then the last one is a guy up there hiding on his, on his massive ice. Ice, icicle throne. Okay. Now, as soon as we've done that, there's two quests to our right and three to our left. So you want to come down here and kill six of these guys. 
Um, someone's already been here, but oh, someone's farming them for some reason. That's really unlucky. But normally there's plenty of them, and just kill six of them. They do slow you, and they've got 100% chance drop rate for the item you need. So it's the essence of ice. Need six of them. This would be a lot quicker if there wasn't somebody killing these. I honestly have no idea why he's farming these, but you know. Okay, once you've done that, I got another gr another green. That's great. Okay, let's make your way over here. Okay, once you're over here, there's these um, things on the floor, scalps. And you just got to use your ice on them. So, right click what you just picked up, and then right click it again. And that's one. You've got to do that six times. They've got a bit of a cooldown. What I tend to do to speed up the process to make more gold is kill these things. Uh, this is what I did to make a bit of money for like a whole day. So these things here, are like they've got a really high chance drop to drop a um, um, essence of fire. They kill two birds, one stone. Make more money for your daily. Will they drop any for me? Not today. There you go, crystallized fire, that's what they drop. If you make 10 crystallized fire, they sell for like 13 golden Yorkshire nails. And if you really want um, to um, farm these guys, the best way to do it is down there. But I think someone's been farming them. But the good thing about these guys is they're guaranteed a spawn. Um, I assume they kill a certain amount. So there's never none of them. And that's why they're a pretty good money maker. Okay, and we're done with this quest. What the farm is today, but uh, yeah, it's a real good place to farm as this guy's doing. Okay, once you've done that, make your way over over here to the top. And what we're going to be doing is killing six of the big boys and six of the small ones. Okay, so once they're dead, you want to be using your item on them. You get like this um, horn. Looting them first, always, or you can't get your loot. And then use your horn. Once you do that, that happens. Oh, sorry, it's five of them each, not six. We've got ourselves another green. That's great. Yeah, it's these little guys want to kill as well. Small boys. Uh, normally, there's loads of these guys running around, but because people are farming them. There's no cooldown on the horn as well, it's really cool. Okay, and we're done with the right side, just we've got to make our way to the left side. I don't pop a hand in the question just yet. Okay, we just have the one hour mark. Okay, once you get here, there's a few things you need to do, but I want you to do it in this order. The first thing you want to be doing is walking up to this wolf that's laying on the floor dead. And you want to use your um, fang on him. This quest can be a bit annoying, you'll soon see. Maybe this guy's not in a group, I can invite him to my group. Okay, let's try and invite this guy into the group. And he accepted the invite, make the loop free for all. And we're on the same quest. So you're doing one of the same quests, so I should get one out of five. Now what you're going to be doing is following your wolf around. And this does take a long time. Basically, give him some guidance, and he's going to find one of these metal dudes. Again, this can be really boring, this quest. Okay, so the other guy's doing the other quest for me, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it anyway. Okay, so we found one. do that three times sadly you got to uh, run so what you want to be doing with this these guys is attack them and use your snowball on it like that it's in your invent this snowball and then when it goes down to like 10 hp a guy will come along and eat him you got to do that five times you can start before with the snowball and you can start attacking straight away and just like that we're now done with that quest nearly and looks like it's bugged out. Lovely. 
Oh. Okay, so I messed up on that one. Sorry about that. I just want to wait, slow DPS him down, and we're done. And then we've got to do the wolf. Looks like the guys are doing the wolf quest for me, so I don't, I'm just going to help them out. It's always best doing it with two people, but... If I invite this guy in, maybe I'll speed up the process. As you can see, it's a really annoying quest. <laughs> and we found him. And we're done. So. Okay. Last quest now out of the whole lot. Let's go in here, this little cave, and we want to kill five of these oily things on the floor. You can't use a snowball on these ones in the cave, so I've tried. Okay, there's three oils here. But someone's already been here, so there's only two. What I've noticed before, that if you kill these, they respawn instantly. Just like that. There are a few more oils in the cave, but again, if you kill them, they normally instantly respawn. Guess they're not today. Oh, that, okay, so that respawned. So there's a certain um, thing you can do in World of Warcraft, where if you kill everything in the room, some will respawn. And that instead, it was just that. Sometimes you get really lucky and the oils just keep respawning. Okay, let's do it the old-fashioned way. There's one oil that's tucked around a corner. There's one oil here, but this oil's a bit buggy. Uh, even though there's one over there, I'm going to kill this one. It's a bit buggy, okay, so don't stand on top of it, so just stand on top of it. And we're done. Make your way out of the cave. It's just one big circle, so you can go this way. Okay then, make your way back and we are finished. Okay, we're done with the uh, daily, so sometimes I log out here so I can start here, just to speed up time, but I like to do the same route every day. Okay, and that is it. We can no longer do any more dailies. So what we're going to do is sell all our junk that we got. In this case, we've got quite a lot. So just sell everything. You know, some white you can keep, like the relic of old white you can sell, but I, c I can never be bothered. Um... Okay, so this is what we got from it. We got quite some cloth, and as you guys know, you can just, if you're a tailorite, you can just either sell that, show an auction house, or you can make it into the bolts, and then you can then enchant the bolts if you're an enchanter, and then bolt, enchanted bolts sell for quite a lot. You can make them into bags, which sell for like 40 gold each. Um, in this case, I don't have any um, of the dust, so what I'm gonna do with the four greens I got from questing today, I'll disenchant them and see what happens. I'm going to disenchant the wand. And the shoulders. That's lovely because that sells for about 13 gold. The dust are worth about one and a half gold each. Please, something good. Great. And that, that's, wow, that's really good. Okay, so that's that. And then what we want, we want to do is enchant the bolts with the dust we got. And then when I've got a minute, I go to the auction house and I'll sell all of this stuff. There you go. Right then, so that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how I make my gold in World of Warcraft. Again, I mentioned this earlier, but I mentioned it again. That's my slash played. I've only ever done dailies. Um, and that's what I do every day. And that's how I've made the gold. I've never done a GDKP run before in my life. I've never bought gold in my life. And uh, I've never really f gotten a rare item from raiding. There's a lot of BOEs. There's a, a needle you can get from uh, EOE, which I've never had for. And the Arcanic Tramplers, I've never got them before as well. But there are two items you can get from a raid and then sell for like 6 or 7 or 8k gold on auction hours, which I've never done. So all this gold you see right here is straight from doing these dailies. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and um, it helped you out a little bit, I'd appreciate a like. Thanks so much and I hope you have a good day.